um, I, it's been quite a while ever since I've actually uploaded a video, except for my piano video that I just did. So, um, I'm going to be featuring my Lego car and this green thing over there. So, um, I had, I first made a version of this Lego car, and then I disassembled it and made a kind of handheld sword, but now we've arrived at version 2. Sorry that I couldn't show you the first version. So, um, there are a few main things about this. This car is a pullback car. So if I were to pull it back, it goes forward. So that is due to these back wheels here. So if I were to pull these back, it's only because of the back wheels. Yes, the front wheels have a gear train that if I were to spin it, so like, yep. But right now I don't have anything to spin it yet, so I'm still trying to look for that. So yeah. And then there's just massive cargo space because I intended for it to have big cargo space, but can't really have too much. So um, I'm gonna be focusing on the back brakes first. Oop, I accidentally reached it. So as you can see, if I were to pull this back, then it would go forward, right? However, this is just a measly little flick. Just yeah. So what this does? Last time I had a clamp. Yeah, on the back wheels, it would go like this. I would pull the rod down, and they would clamp. However, the wheels would still ro um, rub on the rod. So I just thought, why not just not care about the wheels? So this is when the wheels are able to touch the ground, right? If I were to flick this, take a look at the red rod right here. It pushes the car. I mean, the back wheels up, which means it's only gonna locked like that so then flip it back on all oh, right the front brakes have been engaged too however if I were to crank it back yeah and then now for the front brakes so if you want these to be on the ground as a hand as a guard, there has to be a specific configuration. These rods have to be straight like this. If they are bent down somewhere like this, then this part with the blue the blue circle will touch the wheels and then they'll skid and then it'll just stop. So this is the perfect part where it does not touch as much. And then these rods will also touch the floor, which means it'll hold the car up and it'll be a guard. So now, keep a very close eye on these tire tracks. These will tell you that the the wheels are moving, right? Yeah, see they're moving. But however, once these protectors are tripped, so just very lightly pushed inwards, same for this rod, it locks up. Yeah? And it touches something and then it's like oh no oh no there's something here and then just and that's even more if one wheel it's if only one wheel is triggered then it just locks it around like that so um that's this that's a kind of auto brake kind of but it only stops the wheels from skidding however if you want to fully brake it so Starting configuration, one, two, push it down, and three, push it in. Same for the other side. Now the wheels are just basically standing on a ski, so, I mean it can be a kind of brake, but it can also double up as a ski. I'll probably make add more things to the rod to make it thicker, but yeah, that's the gist of it. So it'll just clamp down and it'll stop the wheels from moving. I mean, these can still move, but just flick that. And kaboom, now the wheels are touching the ground. So instead of stopping the wheels, just not make them touch the ground. If you want to lift the lift these, it's just... Yeah, they just lift very easily. One sec. 
I'm really bad at cameras, am I? Put back here. And put back here. And wait no. I'll engage the back brakes. And you can go again. Safety features. Alright, that's enough of the Lego car. Can't oh, use that to use the standing one. Fish. Can I get this one? Yeah. Alright, I got it. So, as you can see, this is a green tube, whatever you call it. it okay, you know what, just, I'll just say it. Green phallic object, yeah? In Dank Memo, they have phallic objects, but really, in Dank Memo on Discord, really, they just. This looks a bit suspicious, okay? But however, it's, it's far from. Far from actually being that sauce because you can do cool things with it. You can open it up. You can twist it. You can pull it. And best of all, if you are ever caught with this in a very suspicious situation, it's gone. That's what I like the most about it. And there's still one more. This is two, and the other two I've been holding that makes it four. So there are four different sticks that coil up and make one whole thing. If I were to coil it up like this. Fun for days. Well, I guess that's it for this update. And, and yep, yep, yep. And the big massive massive Lego that I have. We'll see ya, I guess.